Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Zane Nabulsi and today we're going to be talking about moving or selecting between matching braces for the Visual Studio Tips and Tricks. Um, you can see here the summary information if you're not familiar with it. Uh, you'll probably want to go out to my blog which I'll show a little later on or grab the book. We always love it if you buy the book so you can check it out as well. But for those who are familiar, we've got our basic summary information. If you have your general settings, your C++ 2 settings in this case, um, if you're interested in the commands, there they are. This will work all the way back to 2005. The most important thing to note here is that it only works with C++ and C Sharp currently at the time of this recording. Uh, and then, of course, the ubiquitous code that I have for all tips, uh, in this case, VS Tip Edit 0075. Okay, so let's jump right into it. How do you move or select between matching braces? Well, it's pretty darn easy, actually. Um, whenever you're inside any C++ or C Sharp app, surely by now you've noticed that if you click next to a brace, it gives you this kind of highlighted color. And, and if you kind of look at it there, I'll zoom in, you can see it's, it's kind of a grayish color. And uh, for most people, that's usually where the experience ends. But did you know that if you actually are next to a brace and do a control close square bracket, that it will actually travel between matching braces? You see what I'm doing here? Traveling between the two matching braces. It takes your cursor uh, between the matching braces. And that will work with any two matching braces anywhere. So here I'll do it with the, uh, the class. And then, of course, once again with the main method here. And you can see it's working just fine, right? Control, close bracket. Now, just so you know, that also works with parentheses. So we consider those technically kind of brackets, I guess. Um, and so you can see me jumping between these parentheses doing the same technique. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Um, what you can do is in addition to being able to jump between the brackets, you can also select them. If you actually do control shift and close square bracket, it will actually select everything uh, between the uh, braces. So here I'll do it again for the class, same deal, and then again for the namespace, control shift, close bracket. So there you have it, folks. That allows you to cut or copy and then paste wherever you want to go for all of this information. Now, let's go ahead and finish up real quick. Just as kind of a closing here, uh, you can reach me at zanenab at microsoft.com. There's my Twitter. For those who are interested, my blog where you can find this tip and many, many, many more blogs on msdn.com, zanenab. I uh, did mention the book earlier. If you want to run out to Amazon, you can buy it right now, and I think it's available at many other retailers at this point. Uh, the book's uh, title, Coding Faster, Getting More Productive with Microsoft Visual Studio. Uh, I write it along with Sarah Ford, a good friend of mine. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day, folks.